It's almost exactly a year ago now that the American public collectively lost its mind and elected a hoax as President of the United States. And since then, there's been nothing but uh, convulsive turbulence, whether it's ranging from Russia through to so-called fake news. It never ends day in and day out, as we all know. But royally just beneath the surface in a subterranean way uh, is a pattern of destruction, destruction of the sort of fabric of democratic institutions and politics and culture and economics in a series of, of changes, of regulatory interventions which are really damaging. For example, environment and climate. Uh, Trump pulls us out of the, or pulls the United States out of the climate agreement and he uh, raises the ban on offshore drilling for oil and gas in the Atlantic and in the Arctic, and he raises the ban on, uh, on mining for coal. It, it's really madness. Or take immigration. We now know that there are hundreds of thousands of El Salvadorians and Haitians and, and others from Central America who may well be deported, and indeed the undocumented uh, migrants amongst children many years ago who've made productive contributions to American society also now face deportation. Or take Obamacare. Obamacare, where uh, it's clear that Trump is resisting renewing the child health insurance program, which is absolutely fundamental for millions of kids across the United States. And he's also reduced the subsidies for deductibles, for low-income earners. That's painful, as well as demanding that they take on health insurance plans which are cheaper and less comprehensive. Really damaging. And then, of course, there's the extraordinary intervention around taxes, where the multinational corporations have received a tax break which is beyond their, their dreams. A tax break which goes from 35% to 21% in one fell swoop. And surrounding all of this in the last year has been an intense racism. He's obviously a chartered racist. There's been intense misogyny. He's a chartered sexist and a vulgarity of language which hasn't been approximated since the days of, of Richard Nixon. That was last week. I'm Stephen Lewis.